The only time I ever felt intimidated was I was 22 years old and I moved to Alameda and there's a gym called Iron Island and it took me about three times to go in there. <laughs> I mean it was very kind of nervous. There was big men and they were slamming big weights around and I wasn't used to seeing that. Uh, it was very intimidating but at the same time uh, I got hooked on it. I got you know uh, Lee Moran was there. He, he was a mentor of mine and basically he's the one that got me started in the sport. Perfect segue. Talk about Lee. Talk about Lee. First of all, talk about Lee the man. Talk about Lee as a person. Lee, Lee, he has a hard exterior. If you really get to know the man, he's a teddy bear. Too. Well, yeah. you, you don't ever judge a book by its cover. Lee was uh, the complete opposite if you took the time to talk to him. Uh, you know, just an, just an average guy. And he liked people who trained hard. And he, he took an interest in guys who were really serious about the sport. And uh, he would do anything for you. I mean, Lee would put bench shirts on. He'd spot you. Uh, you know, I'd do the same for him. By the way, he never did put his bench shirt on. He, he, he wasn't into the, uh, the bench shirts. We tried one time. We got it about halfway over his shoulders, and he said, take it off. I can't breathe. I don't like this. He helped all the young guys out. He helped me out coming up. I had no clue. I mean, my first power meet, Lee was one of the judges, and I put uh, baby powder on my hands, and I, put, I was putting them on my, my, my shins before my deadlift, and I had baby powder on my hands. And Lee came, and he goes, I, what are you doing? I can't believe you did that because I, I was very inexperienced. And then when I went to get my award, he goes, you're the first guy I've ever seen out bench is dead. Lee, good coach, a uh, hell of a lifter, helped, helped anybody down there. Uh, he was a legend. He, uh, he was 20 years before his time, in my opinion. He was right up there with Bill Kazmaier back in the early 80s. 80s. Talk about the significance of his 1,000-pound squad. Uh, it, was, it was a milestone. Uh, I think Dave Waddington was the only one prior to him. He did it in a, in a little local show, but Lee was the first one to do it in a national show. and. Uh, I think, let's say, four or five months prior to that, he told me to my face, I'm going to be the first one to squat a thousand, I'm going to do it at the Nationals, and he was even talking back in 1982, 1100 pound squat, and I believed him. If, if his career lasted a little longer, I, I think he had it in him to do, uh, and he would just have the champion Inzer suit, which is damn near like a wrestling singlet right now, and that's all he would wear. Uh, it was basically a wrestling singlet he was, he was coming up with, and he just, he was made to squat, he was made to squat, and he was made to bench, he was just a pressing machine.